motorcycles do it. Cars do it. Even trucks do it. Now you can do it. A real wheelie. For the better part of my life, I've been obsessed with wheelies. I've had some good ones, and, well, ah, yes. Today, I'm going to go over a few common wheelie mistakes and give you guys a few tips and tricks that I think are really helpful. So before we get started, I want to talk about really the main part of a wheelie and that is the balance point. The balance point is the point in your wheelie where you're not tipping back and you're not falling forward. So you don't need to pedal or you don't need to brake. This is the point that we want to stay in as we're wheeling. Now we can use our pedals and our brake to keep us in this balance point. If we're falling forward, we can use our pedals to help pop that wheel back a little bit further and get back in the balance point. Now on the other hand, if we're falling backwards, we can use our rear brake to keep us in that balance point. One common mistake that I see riders make is bending their elbows when braking. You wanna keep your arms straight, your shoulders back. This keeps your body weight behind the rear axle and you're gonna to have to trust that that rear brake will work. Now this can be really challenging to get your front wheel from the ground all the way into the balance point. I like to call this part of the wheelie the pop. Let's break it down by upper and lower body. As you see, my chest is over the bars, I preload my suspension, and then explode backwards, locking out my arms. At the same time, pedal harder to help pop that wheel up. The timing has to be perfect. Now if you can get your front end up to the balance point, but you're having trouble maintaining your wheelie from here, here's a few tips for you. Keep your eyes moving down the trail. I can't emphasize this enough. This one might sound a little weird, but focus on your breathing as you wheelie. This will help you go longer distances. I breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. Hey Drew, what if I get up to the balance point, but I'm tipping over sideways? I can't steer the bike. What are a few things I can do? If you feel like your bike's wandering off and not going straight, you're gonna have to learn how to steer with your hips. When you move your hips from side to side, your head should stay in the same position. You can turn your bars a little bit during this, but you still wanna try and keep your arms locked out as straight as possible. Here are six things you can do before you even start wheeling that's gonna make your life a lot easier. The first one is you wanna find a good place to wheelie. A grassy field, a dirt road, a slight incline, these are all gonna be great places. Tip numero dos, put some flat pedals on. These are gonna be your friend if you have to bail. Play around with what gear you're in. Try an easy gear to start with, and then you can work your way harder and harder and find that sweet spot that feels right to you when you start wheeling. Make sure your back brake is covered. This is essential if you go too far back in your wheelie, you can tap your back brake, and that's gonna smoothly drop your front end down. Dropping your seat post is also gonna help a lot with your wheelies. This gets your weight a little more centered over the rear wheel, it also allows your knees and legs to move a little bit, helping that side to side balance. A one inch drop from your highest seat point is about right for most people. I got a little secret for you. Wheelies are 40% physical, 60% mental. All you gotta do is tell yourself you can do it, and I promise you're gonna conquer it. Give it time, give it practice, and you can do it. Wheelies don't happen overnight. It takes tons of practice. Put in the work and I guarantee you will be a wheelie master. Feel free to post a comment below. I'll check them out. And hopefully we can get you wheeling. All right, folks, until the next one. Catch you later. Ka-chow.